From countering people farming element raiding two bases, this episode has it all. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. We start off by farming some poly, the lone, because my tribe mate is inactive as f But anyway, here's the poly run, I guess. It wasn't the longest run, but we still got a lot. Ooh, look at that poly. I crowded all my teams up and went straight back to base, in which I filled up the fridges with the poly. I was able to fill around two fridges, which isn't the best, but also isn't too bad. It just turned into Ellie Biome on Genesis 2, so you already know I'm going over there with my Microsoft. When I arrived, I didn't see anyone there, which was surprising, so I was gonna farm as much element as possible. For now. Before this video continues, Absolute Dark is wiping next Friday the 16th of June at 4pm EST. They are a Windows slash Xbox cluster with 15 times harvesting rates, infinite weight, instant taming and a bunch of other nice things as well. They have the highest cash prices out of all Windows clusters, with this seasons being 1.6k dollars. Absolute Dark has the best quality of life changes, really balanced PvP to make it less of a grind and more PvP oriented. They host multiple daily events, so if you are interested, join their Discord, it's going to be the first link in the description. I kept farming element in peace until I found these guys. How much HP does this guy have? That guy was built like a tank and sadly he survived somehow. But there was one more guy really close by. Okay, this guy didn't have that much, but damn, that first guy hit him five times, he didn't die. Damn! With his fist that much? That poor guy was probably farming for like 15 minutes and I just come by to kill him like that. I kind of felt bad but it is what it is. Now that I had a bunch of element I decided to transfer it back first. And my tribe came online as well so we decided to go together. And we also brought everything to make a skiff. I don't know why. You don't really need it in Gen 2 biome but uh, we thought it would be good. And it actually came out to be handy in the end so you'll see that. So yeah we, we just kept farming like normal but it wasn't long until we saw some other guys. There's a Mantis, Mantis guy, Mantis guy on, the, on your left, below you. Try to pick him, I'll try to fab him. My guy didn't stand a chance, he just got picked and he couldn't really do anything. Now we decided to just kill him, because we need all the elements that we can get. Damn, he's tanky! Everybody Enrique! Hold on, don't take it out yet. This element. Sadly for us, he just started farming and we didn't really notice that. His mentor was also low level and when we killed it, it didn't really have anything. No, There's a guy here. Uh, where? Yo man, please share have nothing. Please, please, I don't want, don't want to nothing. Huh? I pick him. Easy. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I only want to look. Okay. Yo, please I see let it. me go. I only want to farm. Actually, watch my shoes now. Um. <laughs> no, poor guy. Don't worry, we let that guy live. We just brought him to a safer place. The next guy didn't get that same fate though. Nice death. Nice. Oh, he just had metal. People kept coming away, and this guy actually had a really good kit, so this was an actual fight. Oh, yeah, no, I'm knitted, I'm knitted, I'm knitted. Try to break. No, it's a guy, it's a guy. He, he's actually a guy. Oh, you almost actually hit him twice. Three times. Three times. No legs? No legs, yeah. At this point, the guy was just trying to run. I got shit legs. Hit him shit. again in his legs, without legs. Hit him again? Hit him? Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god, you're so good. Let me get this guy. This guy was really loaded. He had like two Fabies and a bunch of armor. Sadly, he didn't have any element though. And the PP didn't stop there because there was a guy right on our island. I see a yeah, guy down here. Straight. Come here, come, come down here. Boom! And there is him. Bam! Bop! That was the end of our element run, the biome changed, we got a bunch of elements and on our way back I saw this base on a gen 2 vent which looked really raidable so we decided to go back to base, get some stuff ready for the raid and go over there. We still had the skiff here so we picked up one of our staggers and started soaking. It was going really smooth until my tribe mate did this. You should probably put me down a bit. Bruh. Oh, oh, not like that though. <laughs> Whoopsies. That wasn't even the mistake yet, just look at this. That would hit me though. I'm gonna hit. Oh, nice. It's all good though, because we just bought the quets, which is probably even better, because you can get a mate boost on it easier. So we bought the quets, my tribe mate went back to base and got the stuff ready to build it. We built it, or he built it, and then we started soaking again. We also realized that we can rocket the foundation that had turrets on it. Oh, that, that's going there, yeah. But when I try to get more rockets, my head got blown away. 
Nice. Don't worry though, because my tribe mate destroyed the foundations while I was respawning, and then it was time to do some soaking. We soaked and healed a bunch, but they had a lot of ammo, so I'm not gonna bore you too much with it. But yeah, we were basically just soaking and healing the whole time until we found an opening to try to get into the base. I soaked another one, I think. <laughs> what the f? Wait, I didn't put my beer either. You stupid! Uh, Are you good, Osman? Not really. There's one heavy that. Actually. I can try to run up to it. You have a chest piece on, dumbass. Oh, I do. Whoopsies. Here. <laughs> Stop oh. taking shit. We just go. No, it's the auto. No. That tech tool was causing a lot of trouble, so we decided to just soak most of these turrets first. Anyways, now we were finally safe to blow the vaults that were protecting the tech generator. They had RP damage protection and this spot was 1x, so this took a while. Damn. This one? Right there, yeah. That oh, one yeah. has like everything. I don't want the bags to despawn, so I decided to start looting some of the most important stuff. Like dropped. No, not those retired. Yeah, let me get the two though. Which one? The one below me? I did already. Oh. Did you? It had other... Oh, oh Smithies. Sure. Here, 87 element. Oh. That's not not good. Why are you so happy about that? Because you can <laughs> use it to blow this, you know. Oh, most far. I might be able to do it here. Oh, I, I blew another ball. Is this better than our chest piece? The tech gem was finally exposed, so we started damaging it with a tech rifle. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, looting time. Wait, why oh, the turret still on? I hear another tech gen. We thought the tech gen was under the indie forge, so we decided to blow that. Wait, can you drop okay. me legs? No, no, don't do it. Please don't do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Bro, I hate this so much. Did they blow it even? <laughs> yeah, I did. Turns out the tech gen was actually on the other side of the vent, so we didn't even bother to blow that since it was only powering like a turret tower and we were already inside the base with all the loot. Oh, look here. Come, come, come. Look here. I don't know if they're good. Oh. If they're not level, then... Oh, they have a tech ramp. What? Wait, where? The storage box? Oh, no, yeah. No. What the... It's a basic oh. ramp, I'm taking all of this by the way. In the background you can see the most important loot that we got from that raid. But yeah, it was getting really late for me, that's why I decided to go to sleep for the day. When I woke up the next morning I instantly had some PTX. We got a 46 HP line and we also got a HP mutation today. So we had a 48 HP Trandon, but sadly it was on a female. Either way it's a mutation so I'm happy with that. After that I went to the island to scout some underwater pearl caves and I came across this one which looked really promising. Oh my lordy lord. This guy was online so it wasn't going to be that easy to raid, but I still wanted to give it a shot so I went back to base, grabbed the fob, stego, c4 and everything we needed for the raid and came back to raid him. I'll put my fob right here. Nice. After I had a few turrets up, I needed to start blowing the spam so I can push up another fob. That way he can get out of his cave which would make the raid a lot easier and I would also be guaranteed to get all the loot, unless he despawns. After that I pushed some foundations, went back to my base, got another tech gen so I can push more turrets up while also having cover from the other tech gen. And yeah, this way you can make sure he can't escape. I had to be quick and push turrets up so he can't spam anymore. Nice, that's perfect. Alright, we can uh, spam up more now. Or push up more. And that's exactly what I did. I blew a few more foundations, picked up the first generator that I placed, pushed up some more turrets, and now I was able to put my vacuums up so that way he can't really get out of his base. Now that everything was set up, it was time to run their base. Okay, I guess we're just f***ing sending it. We didn't really take a lot of damage on the stego, but this guy had so much ammo, there was no way any of these turrets were gonna soak. And it was also really hard to get up to the wall. But somehow we actually made it up there. We're getting a bunch of stuff destroyed.
Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. We just sent one more stego in there. We should be fine. Let's see what we destroyed actually. Yeah, okay. A lot. I tried to send it again with the stego, but this time he was actually really smart blocking the way up. I tried everything in my power to get up there, but I couldn't because the fairy was blocking me and he was actually sitting on the fairy as well. He didn't really do much damage with it, but it just prevented me from getting to the wall. So I decided to go back and get some nets so I can actually net the fairy when he tries to attack me with it. But for some reason he decided to follow me. That's a smart my guy. Your bestie is kinda dead. I didn't even bother looting him since he was on timer now, so I decided this would be the perfect time to go in again. He's on it again, like fuck my guy. I still couldn't get up that damn ram, so I decided to blow as many tools as I can. He's almost dead. Oh, there he goes. It's almost fucked anyway, it's like two thirds left. You know how I said that there was no way we're soaking all of these turrets? Well, most of them were soaked at this point, so this guy couldn't really do much and he even realized it himself. Congratulations, bro. You win. You have a god tier clack. You're gonna play me now. You're just a shit bop. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm crazy like that. Well, uh, have fun. I'm a log off. Enjoy. Even though he wasn't defending anymore, I still couldn't get up that ramp, so I decided to go back, get some flag, and now toss the stack up there. There you go. And just like that, we were finally inside. What eggs are these? Bruh. Stego. Oh, it's like normal Stego eggs. Okay. We're in. Finally. Took uh, a few more tries than it should have taken, but uh, we got in the, in the end, I guess. Ooh, nice crafting area, though. Okay, blue one. Let's see. Blueprints. Alright, here we go. Ooh, club VP, that's not bad. Power VP is really bad. Another Sega Cell VP. Maybe we can sell it. We have so many now. Just some trim shits. Okay. Yeah, not much. Ooh, yes, sir. Alright, let's see. More besties. Oh, it's X besties. They look kinda bad, though. Yeah, they look kinda bad. It's a lot, though. Damn. Ooh, Diver. That's good for Polly. I'm not even gonna lie. Another RG. Dolphin. Two heavies. Oh, some structures, I guess I will take. Why not? Can you bench just some farm? Oh, this isn't even pink colored. More cryos. Oh, that peat. That peat could be good if it's unleveled. More farm, farm, farm. And I guess we gotta blow this. I'm gonna blow all of this for tribes go as well. Yeah. Let's see. Smithy. Ooh, more C4. Nice. More paste, more turrets, electronics, I'll get the ingots as well. This guy sadly didn't have anything valuable. I didn't really raid him for the loot anyway, I just wanted to get as much tribe score as I can, but it would have still been nice to get something good. Anyways, here's me blowing the whole wall. Here we go, oh my god. Oh, we got some ammo on these. We did end up getting some ammo from the first toast that we blew, which honestly was pretty nice. But yeah, this is basically all the important loot that I got from that raid. I ended up blowing some more foundations for Tribesco as well, but I'm not gonna show that since that's boring. But yeah, this is the end of the episode. I put a lot of effort into this one and tried a new style as well, so let me know if you like it. Make sure to give me some criticism on this, because I'm really new at this editing style, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Now, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.